everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Randy Lawson from the Docks Racing Day series in the Cars Blue Desert line. So, let's get started with the review. Sorry for this being the fourth review in a row. As I've said in the past, I just have so many reviews that I have to do because of Christmas. And also, um, Cars Adventures is on hiatus, so it was just going to be a whole lot of reviews, but I hope you guys still stick around and enjoy the reviews. Moving on to the back of the packaging, you can see the Doc's Racing Days logo there and the description back in the day, Doc Hudson and friends mastered the racetrack with their quick wits and old school tires. Now I didn't get this car for Christmas, I found him at Target afterwards. We've got Doc Racing Junior Moon there on the back, as well as Wildell Lee, Slim Hood, Duke Coulters, and Heyday Smokey. I have these two. I don't have these two, and I really want to get Wheel Dell. He is such a cool car, a very unique car. So let's get this guy out of the package. Docs Racing Day Series. I've said this uh, in the past. I made a point about it in my blog, on my uh, blog. But it's probably one of my favorite series of 2019. I love every single car in it. They're all just so cool. Each one is unique. They're all their own models. And here we have Randy Lawson. He's, of course, painted all black with some additional colors. Taking a look at the front here, you can see he's got a nice smile there. As well as his grill, which stretches all the way across here. Much like Slim Hood, he has black X's. Uh, it looks like they were taped over his headlights. Moving on to the side, we've got a bunch of additional details. You can see this guy was sponsored by Sputter Stop, Cold Engine Relief. Of course, still a Piston Cup sponsor all these years later in the Cars universe. You've got another logo here, which I can't make out what that says. Let's uh, check the packaging. Looks like it says Catmull Oil. So there we go, we've got the Catmull Oil logo, a Revolting logo there, a logo that looks like it just says Gasoline or Gasolinal, something like that. I just can't make out what uh, some of these say, they're just so uh, small. It looks like it says Gasolinal. We've got the number 91 with a nice outline behind it. Moving up, we have his name written on the roof and the 91 once again. Then over here, we have a slogan for Genuine Never Tire, the liquid tire in a can. I'd be very interested to see how that would work. We have a whole lot of dirt detailing on the bottom, which is a really nice touch since he is a dirt track racer. Not many of the other cars have that aside from the dirt track uh, Hudson Hornet they released for Cars 3. We got North Carolina written down there. And by not many other cars have it, I mean um, not many of the flashback racers have it. So I guess that means that Randy here is from North Carolina. Moving on to the back, we've got a huge window, very interesting shape. And his two main sponsors, Sputter Stop, Cold Engine Relief, and Never Tire, the liquid tire in a can. We've got a number 91 back there once again, and he does not have a license plate. Um, these cars, it's weird. Some of them have license plates, some don't. Uh, it's very, like, on and off with who gets a license plate and who doesn't. Of course, in the Piston Cup, in the actual present day of the Cars movies, the cars do not have a license plate. And there is the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure to check out my blog for more new content. I will have a review of this guy up on there um, that goes into my personal thoughts a bit more. That's what I've been doing um, on the blog. I've been discussing more of my own personal thoughts on the cars. I have a review of the three rocket racers that I've reviewed on the channel here up there. And again, I go more into my personal thoughts on them beyond just an overview. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for a review of this guy. Bye now.